everyone, I'm Ellie. As you guys know, I'm a huge fan of idols and magical girls. My next couple costumes are all related to those things and I wanted to make something quick and easy that could go along with those costumes. So I decided to make boop, 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 a pair of bloomers. I know they don't look very exciting when they're just being held up like this, but bloomers are so very, very cute and they're a great way to keep your under things protected as you're wearing idol costumes or magical girl costumes. A lot of real idols over in Japan actually do wear bloomers under their costumes. They blend in well with the petticoats and when you're twirling around or jumping up and down, they really do help protect you and keep everything covered. So they're very, very cute and easily customizable. Since my favorite color or my image color is pink, I decided to go with a light pink ribbon and a basic white cotton. So we are gonna go ahead and make these today. Let's get started. So first we're gonna start by talking about our materials. Your bloomers can be made of whatever you want, honestly. But if you wanna be able to wear them under a lot of costumes, I suggest using a plain white cotton. It's versatile, it's easy to wash, and it looks great under most petticoats. I actually used the cheapest white cotton I could find, which was a muslin even, and it was maybe a dollar a yard, and I only needed one yard of it. You're also going to be needing elastic. I used really thin elastic, about a quarter of an inch, and you're gonna be needing about three yards. Along with the elastic, we're going to be needing a couple different types of lace. I used a ruffly lace for the hem and I got a yard of that. And then I also used a lace that has holes to put ribbon through it and I got a yard of that as well. And then of course, finally the ribbon, which you'll need about two or three yards of, but I just bought a whole spool because that's the cheapest way to do it. So along with all your materials, you're gonna want your usual sewing things, needles, thread, scissors, pins, etc., And you're also gonna want to have a pant pattern. I'm going to be using a pattern that I've drafted and I use all the time for all my different pants, but you can definitely use one that's store-bought. If you do, I suggest finding a pajama pant pattern, as they're usually a bit poofier and don't have any fitting seams, which for these, we don't need any of those since it's all going to be gathered and elasticized together. All right, so now that you have all your materials, let's go ahead and get started. After washing our cotton, the first thing we're going to do is cut out all of our pattern pieces. This pattern that I'm using was originally for high-waisted, very long pants, and it has some fitting seams in it, but like I said, we don't need any of those, so I'm gonna just kind of fudge around with it until I get it to a length and a height that I think is appropriate for these bloomers. With our pieces cut out, it's time to sew them together. We're gonna start by sewing our legs together. So we're going to take a front leg and a back leg, put them together and stitch up the outside and the inside seam. We're gonna do that with both legs. As we stitch up the side seam, we are going to be creating a French seam. So you're going to stitch it once, trim off the excess, flip it over and stitch it again. This way, when you wash your bloomers, there's no chance of anything fraying. Now, once your pant legs are put together, we're going to put them inside of each other, right sides together. This way we can stitch around the crotch seam and turn them into actual pants. Starting with the hem of our legs, we're going to create a casing for our elastic. So this means we're going to fold over the hem of our leg and fold it over again. So this way we have a clean edge and we're gonna stitch all the way around that, leaving maybe one or two inches open at one side. This way we can insert our elastic later on. With our casing put together, we're going to attach our ruffly lace to the hem of our leg. When attaching lace like this, I don't usually sew the lace together to create one full piece, but overlap about a half an inch to an inch at the end. That way you can't really tell where it starts or ends. So with our ruffly lace attached, we're gonna go ahead and attach the lace that has holes for our ribbon. We're gonna start by pinning this all the way along our hem of our leg. This should line up pretty well with your elastic after it's pinned together, we're going to stitch the bottom edge of the lace. After that, we're gonna stitch the top edge, 
but you have to make sure that you leave a place open on the lace in the same spot that you left your casing open. We still haven't put our elastic in there, so we need to make sure we have a way to do that. So now we're gonna go ahead and insert our elastic into our casing. I'm going to start by measuring out my elastic. I do this by actually stretching it around where I want it to be. So in this case, it was my upper leg, and I stretched my elastic to where it was comfortable and added maybe an inch or so and cut that off. And that was my length of my elastic. Inserting elastic into casings can be a bit of a pain in the butt, but I'm going to use a safety pin to help us out. I'm going to attach this safety pin to one edge of my elastic, and now I'm going to thread it through the elastic casing. Having the safety pin there gives you something to grab and makes it a lot easier to pull the elastic through the casing. Once you've gone all the way around your leg, it's now time to stitch together our elastic, and I'm just gonna do this with a quick zigzag stitch over it a couple times and trim off any excess. Now that your elastic is living inside of its casing, we can close off the casing and finish off our lace. I do this in one fail swoop and just finish off that lace. All right, so now we can go ahead and add our ribbon. Like I said, you can use any color. I'd suggest using your image color or your favorite color. I'm using a pink satin ribbon. And for this, I'm gonna do basically the same thing that I did with the elastic. I attached a safety pin to the end of my ribbon and I'm threading that through the holes in my lace. This lace I got from Joann's and it has a lot of threads that I need to end up cutting to get it to go through those holes. And that's okay, just be prepared to do that. Now once I get the ribbon all the way around the lace, I'm gonna tie it off in a cute bow and then I can trim off any excess. Now if you're going to be washing your bloomers, I wanna make sure that you finish off the edge of your ribbon. I would suggest doing this with a lighter. You can simply melt the edge of the ribbon and it'll keep it from fraying. All right, so our legs are done. Now we just have to finish up the waist. We're going to create a waist casing in the same way that we did for the legs. So we're going to fold over twice to create a nice clean edge and we'll stitch along the bottom of that. Leaving about an inch open so that way we can thread our elastic just like we did for the legs. We're gonna be using the safety pin and thread that all the way around our waist, at which point you can close your elastic and then close off the casing. And now all that's left is adding a cute little ribbon so you know which side is the front. And we're gonna do that by simply cutting a length of ribbon and we're gonna do a straight stitch down the middle of it. And now you can tie it into a bow. Just like the legs, be sure to finish off this ribbon if you wanna wash your bloomers and you don't want the ribbon to fray. And with that, our bloomers are finished. These are so, so, so cute and I can't wait to wear them under my next couple idol costumes. I think they're gonna be really fun and they just look really nice. It's a great way to finish off a costume. I hope you guys will stick around for the next video and I can't wait to see you then. As always, keep sewing, stay positive, and have fun. I will see you next time.